Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, here are the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 47 of Let's Platinum Demon Souls Remake. Alright, so I'm almost done. Um, after you do this for long enough, you kind of start to notice like his pattern, like when he moves his head and everything. And you can kind of time it a little bit better. Uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble though. <laughs> Come on. So he swings his head like quite a lot there, and you throw it. Missed. Throw it, that should hit. Nope. Alright, there we go. Got him. Quickly Ring of Avarice. Ah, uh, no, it wasn't quick enough. Anyway, I, I killed him and I got the large scaled flame demon soul, so that's good. Um, Alright, let's quickly collect all the rest of this stuff. Alright, I'm glad I was able to get through that because it was starting to get really annoying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's one really cool trick that you can do to make it a bit easier. Um, so we want to do that and we want to do Ring of Avarice. Everything else is fine. I actually have how much? Uh, stamina, duh. not stamina, uh, endurance 23, that's good. I'm gonna need more later. Alright, so yeah, it wasn't the, like, you don't have to do it, but you can if you want. Um, I think that actually should give us some tendency in this stage, if I'm not mistaken. But let's, uh, let's not worry about that. Okay, so now here's how the thing goes. Estrava is right here, and we're supposed to kill him. Now, according to a little, like, a guide I read, um, you're supposed to kill him immediately and not speak to him at all. It actually says don't bother speaking to him. So that's what I'm going to do. It's just kind of annoying because, um, you know, we don't get his dialogue, but maybe I'll try and do it in a future playthrough. Um, we'll see. Uh, but, yeah, basically we have to kill him straight away. And there's another reason we have to kill him, not just for the quest, but he actually has something that we want. All right. Sorry, Ostrava. All right, <laughs> it repeated. All right, and we get the mausoleum key, which is something that we could have gotten basically the very first time we met Strava, we could have got that, um, but we didn't. All right, now you may have seen a quick flash of red just there. Just check this side, it's on the other side. Um, that was uh, the black phantom of Strava, and he's someone that we have to tackle before we move on to the end of this stage. So let's go do that. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm just wondering if I do the other thing first. Uh, what did I write down? I wrote up to an including Black Phantom Strava, so I guess we'll do this first. All right, so there he is, Black Phantom Strava. I'm gonna try and get a Poison Cloud on him. He shouldn't be too hard, but may as well. <laughs> Knock him into the, into the Poison Cloud. Okay, I guess that's not happening. It's not too hard, just time your attacks correctly. We are so close to the end of the first playthrough. Uh, because a lot of people have been commenting this on <laughs> episode after episode, uh, I've mentioned it already, but I know that people kind of just watch random episodes and then... Uh, and if I don't write it anywhere, then it's worse, but I'll just mention it now when I click this. Okay, another rune sword and rune shield. All right, let's evacuate out of here. We'll go back to the Nexus. Uh, the next game that I'm doing is Dungaronpa 2. Uh, I know people keep asking for Neo 2, but that probably won't be for a while. I played Neo recently as much as I love the game. Uh, I don't want to jump into Neo 2 just now. Um, but yeah, Dungaronpa 2 will be next. I actually started it just yesterday. I was having a bit of a play around because I was like, oh, I want to get back into this world. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm really happy about that. And we'll get started as soon as we're done with, Dark so uh, with Demon Souls, sorry. So... Yeah, soon, soon. Maybe two, three weeks or something like that. All right, let's speak to Mephistopheles and see what the end of this quest looks like. Uh, yeah, we should be fine, right? Yep, yeah, okay, here we go. Well, well. Very smooth work. Almost merciless. Here is your reward. Be thankful for it. Normally it would never find its way into your impure hands. Ah, oh, okay, so you got another Talisman of Beasts. Okay. Look at me with that ravenous countenance. There's more work to be done. I want you to kill that witch, Uria. Of course, I'll provide you with a fine reward. All right, so Uria as well. Excellent. I have high expectations. All right, I'm pretty confident Uria is the last one. I actually thought it was Estrava, but I guess it depends on who you have and everything. Well, seeing, seeing as we can't get anything from 
Yuria anyway. Because we spent... Oh yeah, hang on. <laughs> we could still attune magic if we wanted to, but I think we're fine. There's nothing that I need. I just need Poison Cloud. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. I wonder if Homing Soul Arrow would be useful. Hmm. Alright. Uh, wait, let me just learn magic with her, see if I have anything. I, d I think I've learned everything. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, Yuria, I apologize. I swear I'll save you again. Yeah, watch out for her because she has a uh, firestorm and that could demolish you. <laughs> Probably should have not done it like that, but anyway. There's the old ragged stuff that we got right at the beginning of the game, or the stuff that we started with, I can't remember. The three-cornered hat that we found in World 3, and another uh, ring. Now, get rid of this, this, and this. Get rid of this and this. That one can go, that one can go. Blue eye night gree, uh, blue eye night greaves. And I'm gonna speak to the maiden in black real quick. We're gonna get some vitality and endurance. Beautiful, that's perfect. All right, now Mephistopheles, one more time. I think this might be the end of it. Let's see what happens. Hopefully she gives me a reward first. Let's have a look. So, you're all done. You're what they might call a miracle worker. One final task, and the secret of souls shall die with you. Oh. Okay, yeah, so she starts attacking you. But so she's evil. Goodbye. Be careful because um, she has an ability called. I think she has an ability called Soul Sucker, which can actually affect your level, which is really weird. But yeah, she has that ability Ring of the Accursed, a Gold Mask, an Epi Rapier, and a Parrying Dagger. Um, Did I not get the ring just now? I got the- ah, oh, right, I'm still missing that one, that's okay. The Foe's Ring raises attack power as a black phantom, so that's pretty cool. I think it's more for uh, online stuff, but yeah. Alright, so I think that's it, that deals with everything that we can do. Uh, now, I'm just wondering, what did I write down? Just give me a second. So I did this, did this, did this. Ah, yes, no, there is one last thing before we fight that boss. We have to go back to World 1-1. Now this is going to be interesting. I really, really, really hope <laughs> that my little thought that I had uh, of how to deal with this um, last thing that we have to do works out properly. Because if it works out properly, that would be really, really cool. So we're in World 1-1 and you might remember that there was a very strong Red Eye Knight uh, right at the beginning of the game. Uh, I managed to take him out by using the, uh, like a buckler or a shield, whatever type of shield that I had, I think it was a buckler. And that uh, buckler essentially, you know, bounced his like spear off of the shield, which made it a lot easier to, to deflect his attack. Now, the other thing about this guy is that behind him there was a door and that door was locked. Uh, the lock or the key for that door is actually the mausoleum key that we just got from Astrava. So technically if you wanted to, you could kill Astrava at the beginning of the game when you first meet him and you can get the... I'm stun locked. <laughs> you can get the mausoleum key and you can open that door. Um, however, behind it uh, is an enemy that you will not be able to defeat. At least you most likely won't be able to defeat it without some kind of like glitch or hack or something like that because it's he's just way out of your league even now when we're going to go fight him he's in a sense way out of our league but we have a special trick that we can utilize so let's see how are we going to do this we don't need the ring of magical sharpness so i just need to be attacked a certain amount i'm going to kill you how much damage do you guys do to me oh no no it's not you actually I want this guy to stay where he is. Yeah, we should be fine. Alright, so I actually want to take a chunk of damage from this guy. Not too much, but I want to take a decent amount. Okay. Just need one more hit. That's it. Roll away. Okay, so now the hard part. Trying to defeat him. Well, first I'll change to the Morian Blade. Ah! Uh, <laughs> if, that, if that first hit hadn't been blocked, he would have died. 
Uh, I'll uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's try that again. Should be able to get in this time. So we basically actually no, I'll, I'll leave the shield in my hand. That's good. Okay, one more hit should do. That's it. Now avoid. This part's the hardest. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Alright, so now you'll see I have less than 30% health. I have my Morian Blade equipped. I am also going to equip my Clever Rat's Ring. So now my damage will be insane. And with the way this fight works, it actually pays to try and beat him fairly quickly. So I'll, yeah, I'll just let it speak for itself. Here we go. Okay, so right now he wants just to see how strong you are. Alright, let's see. Does he attack? I can't remember if he attacks, but anyway, I'm gonna try. Okay, 200 damage. It's quite low considering that I have 30% boost, but whatever. We just want to be very careful. He's got a very cool looking weapon, by the way. Fort. Proven thy strength to me. Step forth and take the king's sword in thy hand. Okay. So let's grab this sword. And we receive the demon brand, uh, which is a cool weapon. Um, it looks similar to the weapon that he has, but uh, not quite. So now. We want to fight him again. I am king. Thinkest thou to challenge me? Full heartedness, aptly wielded, is said to be the mark of a king. Prove. You'll notice that um, because I did it this way. I actually gave myself the best opportunity to win immediately because his health was already down to about 70%. Alright, cool, we did it. Ring of Avarice. Okay, 35,900, not too bad. And we grab the Ancient King Set. The Eternal, Eternal Warrior's Ring, and we get the King of Rings trophy for obtaining all the rings. Fantastic. So that's really, really cool. Alright, I've been thinking, well, I haven't been thinking about it enough to say for sure, but I'm just realizing that Old King Doran and Old King Alant, I think there's a lot more to them. Like, there's a very strong connection between the two. Uh, story-wise that I haven't figured out yet. I probably will never figure it out, but uh, definitely think there's a strong story connection there that I'm not realizing. Uh, you know what? We're so close to leveling. Let's just do it. So we need... Uh, let's go with... Jeez, I don't know. This one? 800 and 200. That should be enough, right? Five... Yep. Cool. Just enough. Um, let's get more... Vitality. That's pretty good. Alright, fantastic. So we're pretty much done. I'm just trying to think if there's anything... I have two colorless demon souls, right? kind of wanted to see what it would be like to power up the Phosphorant Pole. Because it gives... Uh, let's get rid of that. Keep Demon Brand. Do I have the other one? I don't think so, right? I think I know where it is, but I don't think I have it. I'll talk about it in a second. Okay, this is a Foster and Pole. I kind of wanted to upgrade that only because um, it gives you uh, what's called MP regen, which is pretty crazy. But I don't think I'd bother keeping it. Yeah, it's alright. Alright, let's leave things like that. 
and we'll go to well, how much time we got? About five minutes left. Ah, the boss fight. Hmm. So it's basically just the boss fight now. Um. All right. Well, I guess we'll run back. I was gonna cut this out, but we'll run back one more time. I'll show you the. I think you've seen it already a few times. Oh, we've lost. Wait, we've lost more tendency in this world. Hmm. Interesting. I think maybe killing old King Doran did that. Strange, because I'm pretty sure killing the dragon gave us, uh, or like, pushed it more towards pure white. I forgot to go through the left here. I think there's an item I missed. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> that was good. I almost missed that. All right, I think with this item, there's a very good chance that that was the final item of the game. I think I've collected absolutely everything. Uh, if I missed anything, I apologize. I did my best to try and collect every item. There is no item tracker in this game, so... Or in any of the games for that matter. Um, but yeah, I did my best to collect everything. Ooh, okay. Always make sure to move... Sh sure to move... Ooh, that's a nice slippy slide. Make sure to be constantly moving in this level. One, two. One, two, three. Oh, well, I didn't want to... Ah! Oh! <laughs> I didn't want to do that. <laughs> oh well. Alright, you know what I'm excited for? I'm actually excited for doing the New Game Plus portion of this um, of this game because I came up with like a relatively good strategy. I think the it's a, sort of a high risk, high reward strategy. Uh, the high risk is that we're gonna there's a chance that we'll die many many times. <laughs> over and over and over again, but the reward is that we can get through everything quite quickly, so that's pretty cool. But um, we'll leave that until we're there. We're, we're getting really close now. One, two, three, four. Basically once we beat the final boss, which the final boss, the funny thing about the final boss is that, or at least the final, yeah, the final major boss, um, is that I was actually, before I fought him in the remake, I was like, oh yeah, this one, he's not too bad, like he's alright. But it actually took me about I don't know, five to ten goes to beat him, so I was like, oh, okay, he's a lot harder than I remember, but I think we'll be, we'll be fine. Alright, chop, 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 chop. This guy almost has, like, auto attack on as soon as you... Um, oh, we didn't collect this, yep, sorry, no, I forgot, we didn't collect this. Uh, let's soul ray this guy. Come here. Can you please walk towards me? And keep using fireball. We didn't click these items. All right, after these ones, then I'm pretty confident we collected everything. Ah, that's gonna be annoying. Can't see, so if one of them's casting fireball. Ah, no, <laughs> no, I couldn't see. Um, hmm. I think I'm just gonna cut to that point. I'll be right back. Okay, back again. Let's see if we can do this. Hopefully. It's really annoying. Poison, cloud him. I want to attack, like, I, I don't want to fight the other one. One, two, three, roll. Just got to time those rolls correctly. Two. Beautiful. Alright, that's one dead. One more to go. Nope. And I do not like that that thing kills you in one hit. <laughs> this whole playthrough now that I think about it has been really high risk, high reward. Because <laughs> everything just kills you in one hit. I didn't go with a like a you know heavy armor build or whatever to survive attacks. Oh no. Uh, yes, we're okay. Phew. Alright, and this I think, or maybe one over there is the final item. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, let's heal. I never heal. <laughs> Alright, I think that was the last item. We'll grab this crystal lizard and we will go to the end. And we'll leave the boss for next time. Another pure sharp stone. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of pure opportunities here. Pure material farming opportunities. Huh, I never noticed that, but if you look at the... I guess it depends on where you're aiming the screen at, but if you look at the top left-hand corner where, like, the the character tendency thing is, it's actually 
they've got a box, you can kind of see it there for a sec. As I was saying that, it's got like a box that's surrounding it, like a an opaque box, so you can see like those little wisps kind of just, yeah, it's flying into a box. It's not like a circle where it just flies out for as far as you want. It's just a, a little square thing keeping it contained. All right, and this is the elevator that leads to the final boss. And if I can win in my first go next time, that would be awesome. But for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 47 of Let's Platinum Demon Souls Remake. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.